All right, what's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. This is 11. I believe this is 11. I could be wrong. I'm not quite for sure. Let me actually check. Yeah, actually, I believe it's 11. This is video 11 that we're on. And so, um, this video, what this is going to be about, this is going to actually be on the 15 uh, recent science discoveries uh, on, on, I think, on Earth, I want to say. I could be wrong. I'm not quite for sure what this video is about. I just saw it on YouTube, and it got me curious, and I thought, well, if I want to watch it, I might as well go ahead and watch it with you guys. And so, uh, let's go ahead and begin the video, okay? Well, let me go ahead and change the view real quick for you guys. I don't have dual, I don't have, you know, uh, dual monitors, so you're going to see it pop up for a little bit there. Sorry about that. And here we go. Uh, shout outs to uh, Tall Tanny. I'll, I, I try to always like and subscribe to your videos, you know, just for letting me go ahead and watch it with you guys. All right. And uh, let's go ahead. Let's check it out. 15 recent science discoveries you won't believe. Number 15, another planet in our solar system. In September 2015, a group of international scientists discovered what appears to be a new dwarf planet orbiting the sun at the edge of our solar system. The scientists named the planet RR245, and it is approximately twice as far as Neptune is from the sun. RR245 takes 120 times longer to make a single revolution around the sun than Earth does. It is not yet known how large the planet is or its chemical makeup, but this is an exciting discovery none Less. Number 14, Medicine Delivery Nano Machines. Early in 2015, scientists, for the first time, delivered medicine in an animal via nano machines. These microscopic machines traveled into the body of a mouse to inject nanoparticles of a medicine into its stomach lining. This may be a huge breakthrough in medical technology since the method was non invasive and left the mouse unharmed. These microscopic machines might reduce the need for invasive surgical procedures on humans in the future. That's great. Number 13, Epigenomes. Scientists have recently finished reconstructing the most accurate map of the human epigenome thus far. The epigenome is analogous to an instruction manual for our genome, the bedrock of human existence. It is important to understand our genome's instructions so that scientists can make further discoveries about genome expression. Without the epigenome, there is no telling what kind of catastrophe would befall the genome. Probably something similar to an orchestra without a conductor. Number 12. Antibodies. In February 2015, scientists synthesized a protein antibody capable of supporting the immune system of monkeys against HIV. Despite having been injected with large doses of the virus, four monkeys were able to avert the disastrous effects of HIV because of this new medical development. The efficacy of antibodies to fight HIV have been proven successful in this case, and human trials are sure to begin shortly. Uh, Number 11, ancient replicators. In early 2016, researchers discovered the first single cell molecule that may have been responsible for ancient cell division approximately 800 million years ago. This single cell organism, named GKPID, was capable of self replication, a process that divides the original organism into an identical one with the same chromosome set. This discovery may be important in tracing the ancestry of all life found on Earth today. Number 10, glass storage. Scientists at London's University of Southampton have recently devised a technique for storing 360 terabytes of data. The data can last at least 13 billion years. The device is made from a synthetically structured nanoglass, making for a vast storage space about the size of a US quarter. The method is called five-dimensional data storage and can encode any information imprinted on it. Say goodbye to flash drives. That's pretty dope. Number 9. Synthetic Leaves In January of 2015, a student at the Royal College of Art in London developed the first ever man-made leaf. The leaf is made from silk proteins and functions much like a regular leaf. Engineers at the Silk Leaf Project incorporate chloroplasts from real leaves to reproduce the effect of photosynthesis in their products. Although the idea is still in infancy, this prosthetic leaf could create oxygen for astronauts who will be involved in future deep space explorations. Oh, wow. Nice. 
space. Number eight, water on Mars. Good news, scientists have finally discovered flowing water on Mars. NASA was able to provide evidence of flowing water on Mars with the help of the MRO. NASA found what are called reoccurring slope lineae on the surface of the red planet. These slopes can only be formed by the ebb and flow of liquid streams, allowing scientists to deduce the existence of water on Mars' surface. NASA concluded, based on the regularities of these slopes, that water on Mars does not flow consistently, but in intervals. Nevertheless, the discovering of flowing water on extraterrestrial planets is a pivotal step in our search for life beyond Earth. Number seven, new human species. Biologists all over the world were intrigued upon hearing the 2015 discovery of a new species of human, Homo naledi, allowing for an even clearer picture of our ancient ancestry. The findings were unveiled deep in an underground cave in South Africa and is considered one of the greatest collections of human remains ever on Earth. So far, it is known that this species of human grew to an average height of five feet and had a brain no larger than an orange. The way the bones in the South African cave were arranged suggests that these human ancestors ritualistically buried their dead, giving a scientist a glimpse into our cultural past. Number six, bionic lens. While still in the testing stage, the founder of Occumetrics Technology Corp may have stumbled upon a revolutionary technology that could augment the way humans perceive the world. A new bionic contact lens will give wearers the ability to see the world with stronger than 2020 vision. Some subjects who have already tried the lens themselves claim that they not only see better than ever before, but have identified a unique spectrum of colors unfamiliar to the unaided eye. Is this perhaps the first step in the direction of a new Era of superhumans? That'd be awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm like that. Oh. Number five, harder than diamond. Scientists may have recently discovered a substance harder than diamond. Q carbon. What gives diamonds their excellent hardness are the chemical bonds that hold them together. The carbons in the diamonds are held together by an incredibly tight chemical bond at the microscopic level, giving diamonds their prominent hardness. By the manipulation of carbon atoms, scientists were able to augment their chemical bonds, producing a material that is potentially 60 times harder than diamond. While this substance is still being experimented on, it is a potential prospect for the future of cheap, efficient technologies. Um, pause right there. That's one thing um, I was um, I was uh, uh, listening to on Joe Rogan podcast that uh, that it, these um, jewelry companies are actually making their own diamonds, making like real legit diamonds. Uh, so I don't know. If I'm not really into that aspect of it. I don't know the vocabulary, but it, it's supposed to be more uh, carbon or more something within those diamonds that they create compared to the ones that you can get from overseas, like from Africa and stuff. And so it's just, it's just pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and continue. Number four, first mammals. Researchers from the University of Edinburgh have discovered an ancient species of mammals that survived the notorious extinction of the dinosaurs over 65 million years ago. The reason this find is so significant is that it gives us a glimpse at how mammals began to rule the world previously dominated by their cold-blooded counterparts. The mammal is thought to have been a plant eater closely resembling a modern beaver. Once dinosaurs were eliminated, these beaver-like creatures began to flourish given that they were no longer victims of dinosaur predators. Because these little guys were able to withstand the destruction that wreaked havoc on the dinosaurs, an array of mammals, including our ancestors, were finally able to leave their mark on the world. Number three, whale gene mapping. Gene mapping is starting to look less like a theoretical nicety and more like an applied science with this new aquatic discovery. Scientists have finally discovered why bowhead whales are able to live to 200 years old by remapping their entire genome. By comparing the genome of the bowhead whales with the genome of other mammals with a less impressive lifespan, scientists were able to point out marked differences. Bowhead longevity is due to its genes' effectiveness in repairing gene deterioration, which is the cause of cancer and other other ailments known to cut human life short. By further studying this animal's genes, scientists may be able to finally restore our own faulty genetic system, substantially lengthening our lives. That'd be crazy. Number two, second Earth. 
NASA has recently confirmed their discovery of a possible Earth. Kepler 452b orbits the sun in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, which is the habitable region in space not too far or too close from the sun, necessary for the possibility of life to flourish. The new planet appears to have a rocky surface as well as liquid water, which is another key ingredient for life to subsist. Although not much is known about if there is life beyond Earth, it makes sense to take notice of planets similar to our own. And now, for number one, the first real show to subscribe to new videos every day. Number one, animal reanimation. Scientists have always been intrigued by the prospect of reanimated creatures that have been extinct for many years. While bringing a dinosaur back to life would be kind of cool, bringing a woolly mammoth back to life would be just as cool. And that is what scientists are trying to do. Because the woolly mammoths and the saber-toothed tigers have only been extinct for tens of thousands of years, unlike the millions of years dinosaurs have been extinct, intact DNA samples are much easier to find. Scientists believe it is possible to recreate these extinct beasts by cloning them with DNA and tissue samples, which have been found over the years preserved in ice. All right, from Todd's head. I'm gonna pause this. All right. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. And uh, there we go. This is the this is the 11th or 12th video. I lost count, honestly. Um, but um, yeah, um, the one about the about the uh, the another planet that we had discovered or we just, that we found that could most likely be habitable, uh, habitable just as here. Um, I remember that being announced some time back. And uh, I, I truly believe that there's life on that planet. I truly believe there's life on that planet. And one of these days, our paths is going to cross. Uh, absolutely. Um, another thing is um, that Jurassic Park thing. <laughs> where they're trying to bring back uh, dinosaurs. I think that's pretty crazy. Woolly Mammoth is a good way to start if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend going that route. We, we're, we're looking at it right now. You see how you know, how the story plays out in Jurassic Park. You know it's a movie, however, it definitely explains about a certain species that cannot be controlled. Um, Another one is the uh, one about the whales. I can't think of the name what they say. Uh, I don't want to call it a humpback. Like we, uh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Or a sperm whale or whatever. Uh, however, they did say that they found a way where um, they can expand their. You no, know, uh, they, they did. They come to find out they found a way that. Well, sorry, I cannot talk right now. All right, so. Basically, those whales can live up to 200 years old or something like that, and they found a way. They you know, they have an idea of way of being able to mimic in that and use that in in human life, so they can incre increase our lifespan, which would be pretty amazing. I have to say, that'd be pretty awesome. So just think about it. You know, um, we're living to 200 years old. <laughs> I honestly, when I want to live that long, unless I'm looking pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm, I'm being honest. That's just me. All right. Um, but just let me know you, well, what you guys thought of that video. Um, this is the video 11. Uh, I still have a ways to go. And so, um, yeah. That's a lot of videos. 11 videos. I still have about. 89 ago. Ooh. You guys wish me luck. I'm feeling it. I'm so tired right now. I'm not going to sit a lot. I barely can think right now. And so, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe to this video. Uh, leave a comment below. I'll make sure I do the same for you guys. I thank you for your time. This is DJ. Peace out.